Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Katie and today is going to be a bit of a special video <laughs> to celebrate reaching 200 subscribers. But I'm going to be baking a cake. I've got all my cooking equipment. You can't quite see the table but I'll hold everything up. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway which is very exciting and also answering some questions which I asked you guys to submit on Twitter or Instagram or on my latest video. So let's just get started. So I'm going to start with the giveaway details because <laughs> that's probably what you're all here for. So it'll be a book depository giveaway for a value of up to £15 and all you have to do to enter is comment on this video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's where I'll DM you to let you know you've won. And it's open internationally as long as book depository ships to you. Yeah, it'll be open for two weeks, so two weeks today. So and yeah, so just leave your comments below <laughs> and I'm so excited to send someone a book. So I'm going to be baking from this Innocent cookbook, which is a really good cookbook actually. We've had it since I was like little. <laughs> I love Innocent, they're like smoothies and stuff. But I'm going to be making carrot cake because that's my favourite kind of cake. And this is the recipe. Um, I'll, I'll leave the recipe and everything in the description. But I'm actually going to be making only a quarter of this recipe because it's a huge recipe. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to make a quarter. So I've got a little notebook here with the measurements written out because otherwise it goes chaos in my head. With the original recipe and the, my quartering of the amounts in the description. As I'm cooking, I'm just going to be answering some questions as well. I've got my laptop down here. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. I love these books and baking video because... Um, I think I've seen it on Haley and Bookland's channel and also Ash from A Dash of Ash and I just love those videos, they're so relaxing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm going to go and wash my hands and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees and we're going to start with, so I've got my big bowl here. These bowls, I've got lots of nice pretty bowls, they're from Marks and Spencers, not sponsored. <laughs> Although I did used to work for Marks and Spencers so you could argue that. All the books you see on this channel were funded by Max and Spencer's money. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with one egg. So I've just got it in a little pot. And then 50 grams of um, soft brown sugar. And 50 grams of caster sugar. Can't quite really see that. And also if you're a vegan, um, you could definitely use a flax egg. So you get like one tablespoon of flaxseed and then mix it with two tablespoons of water. Because the rest of the recipe is completely vegan, so you could just swap the egg out and you would still be able to enjoy the cake. So yeah, so I've got the egg sugars and then 100 millilitres of sunflower oil, or you could use any type of oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and there. So they're all in there. And I'm gonna whisk them up. Um, so let's, I'm gonna start answering questions. So Nicole asked, what Harry Potter house are you in? So I'm in Ravenclaw, <laughs> although I'm a little bit of a Ravenpuff because I do have many Hufflepuff qualities, but I would definitely consider Ravenclaw to be my main house. How are you finding booktube so far? So I'm really enjoying it. I've made so many new great friends and it's so amazing like discovering new channels and just chatting with everyone in the comments. So yeah, I'm loving it. <laughs> it's like the best thing to come out of quarantine. <laughs> So yeah, that's really fun. And she asked, what is your favourite and least favourite trope? So I think my favourite trope is, I have quite a few favourites. <laughs> I love the found family trope. That's just one of the best. And also I really love, like in terms of romance, I love the princess, I'm still, still whisking. Um, I really love the like princess and the guard trope. And um, that's just such a good trope. So much angst. <laughs> Um, and I also really love um, the kind of when there's a character who's like quite really tough and badass but they're actually like a cinnamon roll or the characters that like look really sweet and innocent but they're actually like super badass. <laughs> so they're some of my favourite traits. And then least favourite I would say probably Insta Love I don't really like. Redemption arcs if they're done poorly. I like if a redemption arc's done well I was, mwah. but if it's bad then mm, hate it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna now move on to the next stage of the recipe. So I've got flour, so I've got 100 grams of self-raising flour, um, and then, yeah, in here. And then I'm just gonna mix that with, got a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of mixed spice, and a pinch of salt. So I'll just mix those together, my wooden spoon. 
And the last question Nicole asked is a genre you want to read more of. So for me it's probably thrillers. I don't really read many <laughs> thrillers. I'm not sure why. I I don't think I like like psychological thrillers really, but I do love um like murder mysteries. I really want to read The Guest List. <laughs> I've seen so much hype for that one. But yeah, I think definitely thrillers. So I'm just stirring in the cinnamon and the salt um, into the flour. And Catherine has asked, who's your favourite female author? So I have quite a few. <laughs> um, so Becky Chambers, who wrote The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, and all the books in that series, they're also good. And also Leah Bardugo, I, I love her. And I actually went to her book signing in Liverpool in October and that was so much fun. That was like <laughs> such a great evening and I met a couple of girls who like were so friendly and yeah, it was just great because I'd never been to a book signing before. So that was really cool. And she also asked if you could have a Cosme character as a roommate, who would you pick? <laughs> um, so it'll probably be Light Song. I think that would just be so much fun. So Light Song's a character from Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. And yeah, he's just so like funny and he just has the best like commentary. <laughs> and also like if Flush Weaver was across the corridor from us, that would be so great. <laughs> I'd just be having so much fun. So yeah, I think that's who I would choose. So then next I've got, so I've got the egg and sugar mixture and oil in there. So that's all whisked up. And then I'm gonna get the whisk out. So then I'm just gonna put the flour mixture in slowly so so taylor asked if you had to choose one meal to eat for the rest of your life what would it be so that's a really hard question <laughs> although i do i'm a bit guilty of just eating like the same thing every day especially now we're in quarantine <laughs> um but i think i really love um falafel so it would probably be something falafel related because i'm much more of a savory person than a sweet tooth person <laughs> she says while well, making cake I think, yeah, like a falafel and like pitas stuffed with all the like avocado and rice and lettuce and yeah, all that good stuff. That would be probably. And then I feel like that's something you wouldn't get sick of either because it's quite, it's quite wholesome. <laughs> so yeah, that, that would be my meal if I had to only have one thing for the rest of my life. And Caroline asks, what is your favourite supernatural species? <laughs> that's such a hard question. <laughs> So it's probably uh, witches, I would say. Uh, yeah, I like witches. I, d I did used to like vampires a lot when I was little. I used to love like the Vampire Diaries and the originals, so I'm just mixing it together. Um, I also really like the spin-off show for them, The Legacies. That's really good. I wasn't expecting much, but yeah, that, I would highly recommend that. Yeah, I also, well, <laughs> reading Crescent City, I really like the demons. I don't know why I like demons so much. I just think they're so like fascinating. Obviously not the kind of like demons that you get in like Shadow Hunters because they're just kind of boring. But the like demons who are like people, I just think that's so cool. Then Babella asked, is there a popular fantasy series that you didn't like? If so, why? Um, so I think <laughs> my last video that I just put up was my disappointing books. So you can go to that video <laughs> if you want to see some answers to that. But I think, so main ones probably... Well, the first book in the Dresden Files, <laughs> I really didn't like. Um, and also, not ones that I like strongly dislike, but there's some that I just felt a bit disappointed by. So that's like um, the name, The King Killer Chronicles. I, I enjoyed it. Well, yeah, it was okay, but I just didn't love it. I was expecting it to be like five stars, but it was just a bit meh. Also, the A Great Coat series by Sebastian D. Castell. Those were a bit disappointing, which was a bit sad. Um, and she also asked, um, have you read the other books in the Graceling trilogy? Yes, I have. <laughs> I love Fire. That's probably my favourite book in that series. Also, yeah, I love Bitter Blue as well. I love Teddy and Saf. They're just, <laughs> they're like my favourite characters in that series. <laughs> um, yeah, and going back to Fire. I really love that one because of the, um, the monsters and the Dells. I just think that's so cool. <laughs> Um, like the you know, the wild hair and stuff, and I also really like Kanzarel as a villain. Yeah, he's great. Still, still stirring. You can kind of see it there. It's getting quite like thick. I was expecting. Usually stuff's thinner, but maybe when I add the carrots. <laughs> um, so then Benedict asks, "What is your favourite book you've read?" <laughs> 
<laughs> that's asking a lot. <laughs> um, I'd probably say Oathbringer, which is the third book in the Stormlight Archive, or Six of Crows by Leah Bardugo. They're both two of my like absolute favourite books. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I've loved a lot of stuff I've read. Um, and then also, what book would you live in if you could choose? That's a good. That's a good question. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and go for a TV show. Although there is a book, so it's not technically cheating. And that is the Avatar: The Last Airbender world. I just, I just love the bending so much. <laughs> and like, especially in Legend of Korra as well, they've got loads of like technology, which is super cool. And I love all the like spirit world stuff. So yeah, I think it would be that. And. Sonia asked, what is your favourite Sanderson character? Uh, so <laughs> the, the answer to that one is Adeline. <laughs> um, and there's another question. Yeah, Zach as well asked, um, who is your favourite character from the Stolen Light archive and why is it Adeline? <laughs> um, so I just really love him. He's such like a ray of sunshine. And I love like how supportive it, how supportive he is of Kaladin and Shalon. And also Dalinar as well. He's like quite a good son even though Dalinar maybe isn't always the best dad so I've just put the carrots in there so I well the recipe says grated carrots but I just chewed them up in my Vitamix because I couldn't be bothered to grate them so back to Adeline <laughs> yeah he's just the best and yeah I, if they ever do a like a tv show I just can't wait to see that in real life and just all his moments as well they're just so good and um, yeah so I really like him and also, I really love Kaladin, obviously. <laughs> Who doesn't? And non Stormlight, probably. I really love Vin and Elend. Um, and also Siri from Warbreaker. So they're probably my top, top characters. <laughs> um, I was, I'm actually, well, I'm planning on doing a Cosmere like tier ranking um, video for the characters, but I have to make the tier list. And like, I've got a huge list of Cosmic characters. <laughs> so I have to like track down fan art for all of them and then make the list. So it's just taking a while, but it'll come eventually. <laughs> so Eric asked if you had to choose between a giraffe or rhino for a pet, <laughs> which one would you choose? Um, so I would probably choose a giraffe. I just really love giraffes. They're so cool. They're like so tall and elegant. In my, at the end of my first year of university, went um, to Africa to like um, build houses for a month and we got to go on a safari for a few well a day that was so cool and i love seeing the giraffes like in the wild that was just one of the best experiences of my life <laughs> um, so i just put uh, 40 grams of pine nuts oh yeah the carrots that was 100 grams of carrots i'm, I'm not <laughs> i'm not used to cooking on on camera but yeah um so that's that one so yeah i'd probably choose a giraffe um, so then Anna asked, if you could only burn one metal and be one kind of misting, what would it be? So that is from Mistborn. Um, so probably the, I, I really love uh, Wayne's power in Mistborn Era 2. I can't quite remember the metal. I think it's, it's a Bendeloy. I think it's Bendeloy. Like stop time around yourself. So everyone around you like stops and then you're just like normal time. So that would be really handy, like, especially <laughs> if you had an exam coming up or something, you could just, yeah, <laughs> slow down time and then do all your studying and then just go to the exam. So yeah, probably choose that one. Then Trey asks, what has been your favourite book since starting your channel? So I think the answer, I'm assuming that since you you read. Um, so the answer to that would be Sword of Kaigan, which I just love so much. <laughs> it's such a good book. Um, I'm so happy I read it. And it's just, yeah, read it. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of set in this world where there is technology, but there, there's people are isolated on a peninsula and they don't really have much technology. And they're seen as like this shield for the empire. So they are all kind of grow, they all like grow up as fighters. And um, we're following a mother and her son. So the mother used to like in her, you get a few flashbacks from her and she used to be like a fighter, but now she's kind of like a housewife. And then her son's kind of growing into his like role as a fighter. And yeah, it's just following them. And it's just so like, there's so much, there's so much like good action and so many like heart wrenching. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one that you need the tissues for. I mean, I hardly ever cry in books and I was like tearing up. So <laughs> Ashley asks, what is one popular fantasy series you haven't read, but have been meaning to get to? Um, so that one's probably The Wheel of Time. Um, I really want to read that one. 
and the, well there's so many actually <laughs> uh, the like live bringer series as well um i was gonna start listening to the audiobook for that one actually quite soon when when, when scribe lets me have audiobooks again <laughs> so now i've just got um a baking tin well this is silicon but and also i've just lined it with some baking paper just to make it easier so then i'm going to pour this in um, yeah, so Wheel of Time, like bring out quite a few of them. I'm sure there's plenty more. Want to read the rest of the books in the Thea Knight series, which is the like sort of Kaigen ones. I also I just finished Broken Stars as well, which is like a anthology of translated ch Chinese science fiction, which was amazing. I loved it so much, and I really want to read the Three Body Problem, which one of the one of the short stories in Broken Stars was um, written by the author of. The three body problem so i now really want to read that one <laughs> um, so that's sci-fi but i'm including it anyway so i'm just gonna grab a spatula um so I've got that right there then she also asks what book is highest priority on your tbr right now um so if that one's probably earth sea um yeah by ursula lily gwynn um so i've got a few chapters into it and i am enjoying it but um it's quite a slow read for me like I don't seem to be able to read more than one chapter at a time but I definitely want to finish it before um the end of April so that is my high priority. <laughs> uh, Sarah asked what who do you think Hoyt is? <laughs> well, that's a very good question um I honestly have no idea. <laughs> um, so Hoyt is a character from the Cosmere and he just like pops up in all the books and you don't really know what his like goals are or what he's really after. I guess I'd say maybe he's like the brother of Adelosium or something that would be super cool but yeah we'll have to see. Wait for Dragon Steel <laughs> if that ever comes out but yeah. So now so I've got the cake. I don't want it to all fall out. Um, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven for well the recipe says like 35 to 40 minutes but because I only made a quarter of the recipe I'm gonna start with 25 minutes and we'll see how we get on. <laughs> I've got my laptop up here now, so we'll sit down and have some more questions. Um, so Reese asked who would win in a duel, Adeline or Cassius? 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 I don't know. Um, so that is such a hard question. Um, oh, I'd probably say Cassius because like in the dark, no, in Iron Age, he has that scene where he like fights loads and loads of people and like he gets on really well like he does loads of people like Adeline like in like um Words of Radiance and he has that jewel scene which oh, Kaladin oh. but yeah but he's only fighting like four people and then he has to have like Kaladin's help and Renarin as well but yeah so I'd probably say Cassius but then I guess if Adeline um had his Maya the his shard blade if he ever wakes her up which I'm hoping we see in Rhythm of War but um I think, yeah, then maybe Adeline would win. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's like asking me to choose between husbands. <laughs> um, tropes, I, I already answered that one. So Kate asks, tropes, what is your least favourite, least favourite? So I already as answered that one. And then life, what's different from three years ago? So quite a lot. <laughs> um, well, I guess in some ways a lot and in some ways not a lot. So three years ago would have been 2017. So I was still at university, but then like in between now and three years ago, I had two years off university, so due to illness. So yeah, I've learned quite a lot about myself and <laughs> grown as a person and I'm much more confident. So yeah, so I'm in a much happier place than I was <laughs> three years ago. So yeah, still like living in the same place. I'm still a medical student, so yeah. Um, is Sasha asked if you could be friends with any book character who would you choose um well like I said light song <laughs> would be really cool and then non cosmic would probably be like Bryce from Crescent City she would just I think she'd really help like she'd be such a great friend and she'd like help bring me out of my shell <laughs> I love having like extroverted friends that's just cool and also Nina from Six of Crows I think she'd be <laughs> such a great friend yeah so and Trevor asked if you could overnight be a top five musician in the world in one instrument what would that <laughs> instrument be um so i'd probably say piano because piano is really cool i would love to be able to play the piano or or the flute so i used to play the flute in school but i stopped in sixth form 
and I, I wasn't like amazing or anything. I think I got up to about grade five. But um, yeah, that would be cool as well. I, I like playing the flute, it was fun, but quite hard. <laughs> I'm not really a very musically inclined person. But yeah, the piano or the flute, I think would be cool. Um, and then Eva asked, what was your favorite book as a child and as a teen? So as a child, um, I really loved The Faraway Tree by Edith Blyton, like when I was really little, that was just so good. And then as a slightly older child, I loved all of Kathy Cassidy's books and also Jacqueline Wilson's books. They were like <laughs> the two like top <laughs> um, people. And then as a teen, probably um, like Throne of Glass, <laughs> that series, and also Shadowhunters as well. So yeah, they're probably my top series. And last Twitter question was Michael, who asked, what are some of your bookish unpopular opinions? <laughs> um, so I, I filmed an unpopular opinions tag actually, which I'll probably put up quite soon, but some off the top of my head. So I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but I definitely way prefer like friends to lovers over enemies to lovers. I don't know, I feel like enemies to lovers ways is kind of a bit, not disappointing but you always just feel like i don't know like they're not proper either they're not proper enemies or if they are enemies you feel like well why are they forgiving each other <laughs> um it, yeah it's just a bit yeah i like enemies to lovers if there's some like good angst or if they're like not enemies i would say rivals to lovers i probably prefer more than like enemies to lovers um yeah that's probably my unpopular and if you could be queen of any fantasy world, which would you choose? Uh... So I'm going to go with a really <laughs> basic answer and say High Lady of the Night Court. That would just be, uh, get re <laughs> And also I just think the Night Court such a cool like world and they're like, um, the Valaris and everything. It's just so cool. <laughs> and also, um, well, and also being Jasnar's queen, that would be in um, Stormlight. That would be amazing. Um, so that's probably my answer to that one. Um, so then I'm going to do some Instagram questions. So Raphael asked, have you read The Wheel of Time? No, I haven't. I really want to though. But it's definitely like, probably in the next month or two, I definitely want to get to the first one. So ideally, I would read, well, yeah, I'd, I would really want to read definitely the first one before the TV show comes out. Preferably the first like two or three. Although I'm not quite sure when the TV show is coming out, but yeah. Head Over Books asks, what is your favourite series of all time? <laughs> uh, no surprise, the Stormlight Archive. <laughs> um, and also, how do you feel about tag videos? Um, I really enjoy them. I think it's so much fun to have like prompts and to be able to talk about them. And also seeing other people doing like the same tag and uh, seeing their, how their answers differ from yours, I think is so much fun. Uh, Simon asked, if you could ask your favourite author one question, what would it be? I feel like which of their characters is most similar to them? That would be quite a cool question, I think, because it would give you like an insight into, or which character is their favourite to write also, if that's like another question. I think that would be super interesting. Um, yeah. And if you could be any character in a book, who would you be and why? <laughs> well, the obvious, the, the obvious answer to this one is Shalon. <laughs> um, but no, I probably wouldn't want to be her actually. Um, I'd probably say uh, Mustang from the Red Rising series. I mean, she goes through a lot, but also she's just the coolest. I just, yeah, I love her. Her and Victor are probably my favourite Red Rising characters, especially in the later book. She's just so powerful and such a, yeah, she's great. So you probably want to be her. And also you get to bang Cassius and Darrow, so we <laughs> wouldn't want that. So Kayo asked, if this is the one book that if there was an apocalypse, you would definitely save it. Um, <laughs> so I'd probably go for my collector's edition of Six of Crows, that one's just so beautiful. <laughs> I love that one. Any of my Cosmo books, <laughs> just like bring out a whole um, pile of them. But I, I really want the like hardback of Oathbringer in the US edition. I just think that's so cool. I love the art on the front of Jasnar. So if I, if I had that, I would save that. But at the moment, it's the Six of Crows one. Um, and Mauricio, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, um, said, have you read the Stumlight Archive series? And the answer to that one is yes, <laughs> I have, and I love it. And yeah, I've probably, I've reread like bits of it, but I really want to do like a full reread before the Rhythm of War comes out, which is the fourth one. 
got a question from YouTube. So Time and Chance asked, what do you do for fun and entertainment that has nothing to do with books? And um, so I really love walking. I really love baking. I like dancing. I don't really do too much of it at the moment, but I used to do like um, cheerleading in school and also in my first couple of years at university. Yeah, I love um, like TV shows and stuff as well. It's a lot of fun. And so yeah, uh, I, but I do really love reading. <laughs> um, also, where would you want to visit outside the UK? <laughs> Once COVID is not a problem anymore. Um, so I really love Canada. I've been a couple of times and it's just the prettiest place ever. <laughs> it was just so great. Uh, so probably want to go back there. And also um, Scandinavia, like Norway or um, Denmark or Sweden, I would love to visit them. I've been to Norway a couple of times because we have some friends who live there. But yeah, I would love to go back to any of those places or go for the first time. Yeah, that would be super cool. Um, and one day, <laughs> eventually, I would love to visit Australia, but I mean, it's a really long way. <laughs> but yeah, that would be super amazing. So if you could change one thing about Booktube, what would it be and why? Um, probably uh, have more people doing like book reviews. I, I really love those videos, but I don't think they're quite that popular because maybe they don't do so well. But I just really love them, especially if it's a book I really like. Because that was how I discovered like booktube, just looking up like I'd like typed into YouTube this like a book I just read. I think it was probably Tower of God. Just finding videos just talking about like that book. I just, I really love those. So I would say probably bringing them back slash making them more popular. <laughs> but I get that they're not popular because if you haven't read the book, then why would you watch the video? But yeah, I just, I really love those kind of videos. And what would you do with Harry Potter's invisibility cloak? <laughs> um, I don't know, that's quite hard, maybe like sneaking onto flights or something, I mean that's a bit naughty, <laughs> but so you could just go on holiday without having to pay, although I hate flying so <laughs> not sure that would be the best, but yeah, just probably like sneaking into places um, probably be my answer. I'm, I'm not like a super nosy person, so I don't think I'd want to like eavesdrop on any conversations or anything. <laughs> Some lightning questions. <laughs> uh, so the first is apples or oranges. So probably apples, although I do love both. Um, dogs or cats? Cats, definitely. I'll go and see if I can find my cat actually. So I've got my cat here. This is Molly, she's very cute. Um, she, she likes being picked up, but she always goes on your shoulder. And um, yeah, she's very cute. I'm definitely a cat person, um, like a black cat especially. I just love black cats. <laughs> um, and then witches or werewolves? Uh, probably witches. <laughs> There's a black cat vibe. That's, um, yeah, I just, I really love witches. And witch books as well, they're just great. Um, and then chicken or turkey? Well, I'm actually vegetarian, <laughs> so I'd probably say neither. Um, but yeah, if I had to choose like one of the animals, I'd probably say a uh, chicken. Oh, she pops. Um, yeah, I think ch chickens are really cute. Um, don't, don't eat those. Um, the chickens. Um, so yeah, so that is all the questions. <laughs> um, so we'll just wait for the cake to bake and then yeah. Because this video isn't chaotic enough, I just got a parcel in the post so, from Waterstone, so I wanted to open it because it's fun to do an unboxing. Yeah. So, I think I know what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I have Irish R and The End of Time. So, this is Roshani Chokshani. So, this is the first book in the Irish R series. 
and the, I love these covers. I was kind of holding on, off on getting them. The previous UK cover was so ugly. <laughs> um, but yeah, these ones are so pretty. And I also ordered the Song of Death as well, but that one should come soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just so pretty. And I'm super excited to read these. So these are the Rick Riordan Presents. So in this book, we follow Arusha and she accidentally, she finds this cursed lamp and then accidentally summons this demon. And then I think the adventures ensue from there. So I'm super excited <laughs> for this one. And um, so yeah, so I'll let you know, I'll know how I get on with it. Okay, so I've got the cake out of the oven. So it's looking good. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And um, thank you all for subscribing. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to 200 subscribers. I was so, and like, I've been on here less than a month, so that's just amazing. And um, so yeah, so I'm sending you virtual, virtual cake. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> virtual cake <laughs> hope you enjoy and um yeah if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and comment down below with maybe one of your answers to any of these questions or if you think you'll try the cake <laughs> definitely let me know um and yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time no,